In today's tutorial, we will learn how we can switch between two pumps on each pump start request. For example if we have a two pumps and, if we send the pump run request command, only first pump should run and other pump should remain off. Next time when we send a pump run request, second pump should run and, first pump should remain off. Let's see the program logic for the today's tutorial. But before starting, please make sure to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for the upcoming tutorial videos. As you can see that, we have connected start pump button at PLC input, a 0.0. If we press this start button, this will latch on the pump start request bit, M10.0. In the network number 2, this pump start request bit, M10.0 normal open contact get closed, it will latch on the pump 1 start bit, and pump 1 turns on. If we press the stop pump button I0.1, this will latch off the pump 1 start bit M10.1. Now as soon as this bit turns off, on the negative edge of this bit, it will set on the bit, M11.0, this bit will turn on, and indicate that the pump 1, turned on last time. This normal close contact M11.0 will be opened up, and this will prevent the pump 1 to turn on next time. Now next time, when the pump start request turns on, this pump 1 flag bit, M11.0 is already closed. This will complete the logic path, and latch on the pump 2 start bit, and pump 2 turns on. Now if press the stop pump button I0.1, this will turn off the pump 2 start bit, M10.2 and turns off, the pump number 2. As soon as, the pump 2 start bit M10.2 turns off, on the negative edge, it will reset the pump 1, M11.0 flag bit, this will open this normal open contact, and this will prevent pump 2 to start on the, next pump start request. If we come back to the network 2, this normal close contact bit, M11.0 is again closed, and it will allow the pump 1 to start, on the next pump start request. As you can see that as soon as, we press the start pump button I0.0, it will latch on the pump start request bit, M10.0. In network 2, you can see that, the pump start request bit is closed, and this pump 1 flag bit is already closed, this will latch on the pump 1 start bit M10.1. Now if we press this stop pump button I0.1, it will turn off pump 1 start bit M10.1, and on its negative edge it will set on the pump 1 flag M11.0. You can see that, this pump 1 flag bit M11.0 is now opened up, now this bit will prevent pump 1 to start on the next pump start request. As you can see that in network 3, this bit is now closed, this will allow the pump 2 to start on the next pump start request. Now if we come back to the network 1, and press the start pump button once again, it will turn on the pump start request bit M10.0. As you can see that, in network 3, now pump 2 start bit M10.2 is turned on, and this has started the pump 2. Now we have pressed the pump stop button I0.1, it will turn off the pump 2 start bit M10.2, and on the negative edge it will reset the pump 1 flag bit M11.0. It has opened up this contact, and now it will prevent the pump 2 to start up on the next pump start request. Now if come to the network 2, here this contact M11.0 is now closed, it will now allow the pump 1 to start up on the next pump start request. Let's try our logic once more, as you can see that, as soon as we press the pump start button I0.0, it turns on the pump 1 bit M10.1. Now if we press the stop pump I0.1, this will turn off the pump 1. Now if we press the pump start button I0.0, it will turn on the pump 2 start bit M10.2. So that's how we can turn on two pumps alternately on every pump start request. I hope you liked today's video. Do share like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Till next time take care and goodbye.